running away with it right now. 12 and 1. They have been red hot. New Mexico just lost last weekend to Fresno State, sitting at 10 and 3. Tip is underway, and Katie Powell is able to poke it back over to Nikki Wheatley. Wheatley had a productive game against San Jose State, 4 of 7 in 27 minutes, 7 of 9 from the free throw line, and scored 15 points. Powell wants it in the corner, kicks it back out to Wheatley at the top of the key. Wheatley wants to drive. Wheatley gets it into the paint, kisses it off the backboard, and in. Wheatley used that backboard so well against San Jose State. For the senior in the last five games, she's shooting 60% from the field, coming on strong towards the end of her Lady Rebel career. As Wyoming try to answer back. You mentioned Wyoming, a great offensive team. They're third best in the NCAA in three-point shot attempts. So that one is going to go down for a corner jumper for Mara Gomez, who's the only player in the Mount West, 50, 40, and 90. That's 50% from the field, 40 over 40% from beyond the arc and over 90% from the free throw line. A player who has an opportunity to be Mount West Player of the Year as Paris Strother gets the feed. Powell comes in and cleans it up, but she misses the board of the layup attempt. And Nikki Wheatley comes up with the offensive board, kicks it back out to Strother, now down low for Powell. Powell wants it, and she gets that one to go. UNLV, three straight opportunities there. They were able to get the offensive boards. Lady Rebels, one of the best rebounding teams in the conference. They have the best rebounding margin at three and a half. Four two early on after a Powell and Wheatley made bucket as Nikki Wheatley knocked the ball away. Head coach Kathy Olivier wanted the ball to go to UNLV's way, unable to get it, but good defense by Wheatley, who's a very aggressive point guard, will hound everybody. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. Cotton kicks it back over in the left corner for Area Vets. Five seconds remaining. Bailey Thomas on Area Vets. Pull-up jumper. That one's going to go short off the side of the rim. And Katie Powell comes up with the defensive rebound. Wheatley will lead it to Powell on over to Jordan Bell. Bell's been in a shooting slump, and we're going to get a foul down in the paint. As Strother got hooked up with Marta Gomez. You mentioned Marta Gomez. 15.5 points per game, fourth best in the Mountain West. She has six games over 20 or more points. She's only had two games where she's not re reached double-digit points, and one of them was against UNLV in that win in Laramie, Wyoming. Kind of disheartening for UNLV as Powell wants a three from NBA range. That one is just too strong. Wheatley coming in for the offensive board, and she's got it. Nikki Wheatley is going to get called for a hell ball situation, but Nikki Wheatley just came skying in, crashed that offensive board so well. You see here on the instant replay, Wheatley was able to take it away from Cotton, try to get the foul call, but good defense, <laughs> trying to go through three player, <laughs> uh, Cowgirl defenders. Unfortunately, Wheatley could not win that battle. 4-2 early on here at the Cox Pavilion in Las Vegas, Nevada. And we're going to get a foul call on the drive. That's Taylor Russ. Jordan Bell picks up the personal, her first, first team foul. Wyoming's seven-game winning streak. They win today. They'll be the large, longest winning streak in Mountain West play since the Cowgirls joined the Mountain West Conference. Cotton guarded by Strother. Trying to get by Strother. She does. Cotton goes into the paint. Has that shot altered by Strother. Cotton kicks it back out. Three from the right wing, and that one goes down. Marta Gomez hits the three. You can't leave her open. She shoots 49% from beyond the arc. First in the Mountain West, and the Cowgirls take their first lead of the ballgame, 5-4. Bell gets a handoff from Bailey Thomas. Thomas, who was lights out in the first quarter against San Jose State. Here's Bell. Bell, her three-point shot attempt is no good. Here comes Wheatley again. Wheatley's got it on the ground. Wheatley trying to get somebody open. And now she is going to, let's see if it's picked up a foul call. Nope, well, I believe it's going to be a timeout called on the court. Back here live at the Cox Pavilion here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Wyatt Tomchek on the call. UNLV trailing this one 5-4, to four, but they've been crashing the boards. Five rebounds, four of them coming on the offensive side. And Nikki Wheatley has been just dominant down in the paint getting those offensive boards. So Cowgirl players cannot sleep on Wheatley on those misses. Wheatley has it now on the left wing. Wheatley and Powell have hit the only buckets. Wheatley will try again. That one goes. Just in front of the free throw line, Nikki Wheatley now 2 of 2 on the day with her three offensive boards. Four points for the senior guard from Laverne, California. 6 to 5, UNLV back on top. 
Rusk over to area vets. Wyoming trying to retake the lead here. Marta Gomez has all points for the Cowgirls. Five, two of two shooting. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. Gomez on the left wing to area vets. Three at the top of the key. That one is too strong. Rebound taken by Bailey Thomas. And UNLV will run. Wheatley, he's not numbered five to one, finds Powell. Powell with a dangerous pass down in the paint. Powell taps her chest saying, my bad, trying to give it down low to Paris Straw there. Turnover a number two for UNLV, six to five. UNLV, 43% from the field so far. Cowgirls, 40%. UNLV didn't shoot bad against Wyoming the first time these two teams played. UNLV had their second best field goal percentage of the year against the Cowgirls, but unfortunately, Wyoming shot 60% from three and hit 14 threes. They won that ball game 90 to 62. Catch and fire, jump shot, that missed everything. Bailey Cotton trying to save it, and she gets it over to Marta Gomez. What a play there by Cotton. Five seconds remaining on the shot clock because the ball did not hit the rim. Strother pokes it up in the air. She was face guarding her defender. Now she'll end it off to Wheatley. Wheatley has to stop, kicks it to Strother over to Bell. Bell with the head fake. Bell in the paint, now over to Strother. Back to Wheatley. Wheatley now the head fake. Wheatley, nice move. Nikki Wheatley gets that one to go down. Wheatley is feeling it today. Six points off a of three of three shooting. 8-5 UNLV early on with 5.15 remaining here in the first quarter. Cotton trying to drive against Powell and just gets right by Katie. Haley Cotton now has her first field goal of the ball game. 8-7. Cotton from Denver, Colorado. She's about 45% from the field. That's 10th best in the Mountain West. Strother now at the top of the key. Paris 0 of 1 on the day. You know, he's got to get her some more opportunities. And, and two turnovers trying to give it to Paris. One by Powell and this one by Jordan Bell. Three turnovers for UNLV. Wyoming will try to retake the lead with Rusk in the right corner. R.J. Wade will check in at the next whistle. Thomas comes in on area vets. And Katie Powell, what a great play by Powell. She just stripped that one away. Wheatley wants to go coast to coast. And we're going to get a foul before the shot attempt. No. It's a dribbling violation. And Nikki Wheatley can't believe it. R.J. Wade and Letitia Smith are running the ball game. Strother is out, and Jordan Bell is out. R.J. Wade had a career game against San Jose State, 7 of 14 from the field in 21 minutes, 20 points, and pulled down 14 rebounds, 10 of which came on the offensive glass. The junior from Fresno, California, could be the sixth player of the year in the Mount West if she continues that up. Gomez will try to get by Wade. Gomez has to retreat back out with 15 seconds on the shot clock. The defense... By UNLV is playing man-to-man -man and suffocating man-to-man -man right now. Russ gets by Smith. RJ went a little bit too far and left. Gomez open for a three, and it plinkos off the top of the backboard. And Powell, the smile, and said, oh, I have a rebound taken away from me. She will go inbound as RJ had a little something on her wrist. Official says she can't wear it. RJ will throw it on over. And we'll continue play. Wheatley will lead the point. Quinn Weideman is in the ball game for Wyoming. As UNLV up by one. RJ at the top of the key. Takes one dribble and hands it off to Wheatley. Wheatley has not missed a shot so far. Now hands it off to Letitia Smith. Back over to RJ Wade. Good passing here by UNLV. Their motion offense trying to give it down low to Powell. And then she was double teamed. It was knocked out by Gomez. Weideman was there as well. As... Carla Area Vets will check back into the ball game after a quick break for Taylor Russ. Seven seconds remain on the shot clock for the Lady Rebels. Up by one, eight to seven. UNLV shooting 50%, four of eight on the day. Wade, five seconds left. UNLV's got to get something going here. Wade kicks it out to Smith. Smith will have a three at the buzzer and gets that one to go down. Letitia Smith, who shoots about 40% on the year from beyond the arc. Not a lot of attempts, but drains that one. And UNLV hits their first three-pointer of the ball game. They're up 11-7 here with 320 remaining in the first. Wyoming has hit one three. That was by Gomez. Gomez has five. Gomez catching fire shot. And has a beautiful run play there by Wyoming as Gomez has seven points of the nine for the Cowgirls off a three of four shooting. Powell over to Smith. Bailey Thomas, we mentioned, was 3-of-3 three three in the first half against San Jose State. And R.J. Wade is going to pick up the offensive foul. She threw down Gomez. 
They announced it Bailey Thomas, but it's going to be on R.J. Wade. Second team foul for UNLV. And the first on Wade, Estrada will check in at the next whistle. Area Vets could not hang on to that one and went right in the hands of Nikki Wheatley, and that's going to be a reach-in foul on Tapia. As head coach Joe Ligurski barking out instructions, wondering, telling the players why it was not a smart play as Powell will be out, Strada will be in. And for Marta Gomez, she has now passed her former teammate Liv Roberts for 17th place all-time in Wyoming history. Liv Roberts, if you guys know, was the Mountain West Player of the Year last year. An amazing player, and thought Wyoming was going to struggle without kind of the, the senior leadership of Liv Roberts. They have proved it wrong. This year, 16-5, and 9-3 and three in conference play. Looking to win eight in a row. Currently trailing this one as Wheatley. The jumper's feeling good for Wheatley. That one just too strong. First miss for the point guard, Nikki Wheatley. 225 remaining in the first. Head coach Kath Levy wanted a carry on Tapia. The ball went up a little bit high on her dribble. Gomez is double teamed. Now will turn around jumper and switches that one in front of R.J. Wade. Gomez now with 9 of the 11 points for Wyoming. Back tied up 11 all. Both teams shooting 50% on the day, but UNLV has two more turnovers. Compared to Wyoming. Wade with the bounce pass to Strother. Strother is double teamed and she walked. Like that the UNLV is getting Paris Strother some looks down in the paint as Alyssa Anderson and Kaviana Brown will check in. Strother. In the last three games, shooting six of eight. The problem is only eight field goal attempts for Strother. Does deal with some foul trouble. But Paris shooting at 46% from the field this year. Last time she played Wyoming, she had a season high 14 points and went five of eight from the field. Area Vets gets it down low. Bailey Cotton was able to slip by R.J. Wade. And Cotton has her second field goal of the game. She is now 2 of 6% from the field this year. Last time she played Wyoming, she had a season high 14 points and went 5 of 8 from the field. Area Vets gets it down low. Bailey Cotton was able to slip by R.J. Wade. And Cotton has her second field goal of the game. She is now 2 of 3. And Wyoming retakes the lead. 13-11 UNLV. Four turnovers in the last three minutes and 45 seconds. Give it down low to Wade. Wade trying to work some magic. She's double teamed. Has to pick up her dribble. Anderson with 12 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Anderson with the bounce pass to Smith. Nice find. But Letitia Smith could not get that one to go down. And UNLV's got to hurry back on defense. 6 0 run here for the Cowgirls in the last minute 45. And they're three of their last three in that span. Could make it 4 of 4. That one is no good by Weideman. And Perestrada comes up with the board. They'll be trying to end a scoring drought, lasting about 2 minutes and 30 seconds. It'll be with just one starter on the court. That is Strother. Four bench players. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. A, oh, dangerous pass by R.J. Wade, but Caviano Brown was able to bail her out. R.J. with a good move. R.J. high up the backboard. Can't get that one to go, but she gets her own offensive rebound with 34.6 seconds remaining. Wade is fouled. And if that's not Gomez, that is... It is. That is the second personal foul on Gomez. Third team foul. And R.J. Wade will be at the line. R.J. has more offensive rebounds this year than she does defensive rebounds. She is a bull on the offensive glass. R.J. went 6 of 10 from the free throw line against San Jose State. Gets that one to go down. R.J. at 61% on the year. This UNLV team at 64%. And is 10th best in the Mountain West as Taylor Rusk is back into the ball game. And Slajana Rakovic is also into the ball game for the first time for Wyoming. As Bailey Thomas will check in for Alyssa Anderson. Jordan Bell, I believe, will be checking in for R.J. Wade. About a four-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Second one, true to form for R.J. And she'll head to the bench. R.J. with two points. Off the bench, trying to one-up her 20-point performance against San Jose State. Wyoming most likely will hold here for the final shot. Be surprised if they get one off without, without at least maybe five seconds on the clock. 
Rokovic at the top of the key over to Weideman. The left wing to Rusk. Rusk had some separation. The passing here as a three from the right corner is no good. Six seconds remaining. UNLV could take the lead here. Here comes Letitia Smith. Smith wants to drive, and a blocking foul is called with three seconds remaining. As, as Carla Ariovitz picks up the personal. That's the first personal four-team foul. Does not put UNLV on the line, so they'll have to run their best play here with three seconds left to try to take the lead. 13 all. Smith gets it. Smith driving, bounce pass to Straw, and that's just one extra pass that shouldn't have been made. And that will end quarter number one here at the Cox Pavilion. Wyoming shooting 46%, UNLV at 42. Probably more on the outskirts of town, but right now we are tied up at 13 all. As Wheatley, Strother, Bell, Powell, and Thomas are on the court for the Lady Rebels. As Wheatley, Strother, Bell, Powell, and Thomas are on the court for the Lady Rebels. Wheatley, the leading scorer with six points. Powell has a field goal as well. Powell will hand it off now to Bailey Thomas, who did not attempt their shot in that first quarter. Bell wanted to give it down low to Powell. Could not take that advantage. Wheatley picks up her dribble now at the right elbow. Wheatley had it poked away. Now they give it down low to Powell. Powell. Turn around, hook shot. That one's not a good shot, but Nikki Wheatley comes up with the offensive board. Nikki Wheatley has four offensive rebounds. She now has eight points off a of four of five shooting. Wheatley has been dominant on the boards today. Five rebounds. She has four of the six offensive boards for the Lady Rebels. You know, he takes the lead up by two. Back and forth we were in that first quarter. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. Russ trying to get by Jordan Bell. Russ driving on the left baseline. Sideline, sorry. K -k Kicks it back out to Bailey Cotton. And Cotton's shot attempt is too strong. Rebound taken by the Lady Rebels. This cowgirl team really likes to shoot the threes. They average about seven to eight threes per game. As they give a download to Straw there, she fumbled it. K kicks it back out to Thomas. Over to Bell. Three for Jordan Bell. And the shooting slumps continue Unfortunately for the senior from Elk Grove, California, she is 1 for 18 coming into this ballgame in the last four games. Right now, 0 of 2. 1 for her last 20. As Bailey Thomas is able to deny the pass down into the paint for Taylor Russ. 20 seconds remaining on the shot clock, 8.33 remaining. Well, Nikki Wheatley has shot 4 of 5 so far. The rest of her starting com com comrades are at 1 of 6. 15-13 is the score. 10 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Cotton guarded by Katie Powell. Man-to-man -man defense. Now over to Rokovic. Rokovic trying to do a little move on Straw. They had to kick it back out. Two seconds remaining on the shot clock. Wyoming does not realize it, and it's a shot clock violation. Good defense by UNLV to force the turnover as Wyoming just fell asleep on that offense possession. Nothing right there. Rokovic looked up at the... Shot clock. Surprised she didn't go with a quicker move. Turnover, a number four for Wyoming. UNLV is at six. Wheatley gets a screen from Powell. They try to give it down low to her. Powell's double team. Ball poked away. Turnover number seven. That's one area UNLV's got to clean up here in this ball game. Up by two. Wyoming trying to tie or take the lead. Rokovic going into the paint. Strother. Took a hard fall. Unfortunately, her feet were moving on that contact, and Strother will pick up the personal. Her first first team foul. R.J. Wade will check in for Strother, who took a hard fall. Just two free throw attempts in that first quarter. Both of them were by UNLV. It was by R.J. Wade. She's two of two. In that department, UNLV is out-rebounded Wyoming right now, 12-5. to five. So Wyoming team that does not give a lot of rebounds, just 31, but they don't pull down that many as well at 33 per game. It's 10th best in the Mountain West. But when you're making a lot of shots, you don't have to really rebound that much. Three from the left corner. That one goes down. And it's Marta Gomez, her second three-pointer of the ball game. Gomez, she has 12 points dealing with those two fouls. So a big gamble here by Wyoming. Keep her in the ball game. The gamble's paying off with Wyoming back out in front by one after the second three-pointer by the Cowgirls. Powell with the head fake at the top of the key. Powell has to pick up her dribble, gives it to R.J. Wade. Nice spin move, R.J. Wade, but had that shot. Looked like it was rejected by Gomez. R.J. unable to finish. 
And the scoring drought for UNLV continues. They have not scored a point in the last two minutes and 30 seconds. Rusk, good job, R.J. Wade, to denying that pass momentarily for Gomez as she had to retreat back out with 15 seconds on the shot clock. Rusk, 10 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Good passing here by Wyoming as Weideman got into the paint. Rokovic comes up with the offensive board, dribbled it back up, three from the left wing. That one goes down for Taylor Rusk. 19-15, largely the ball game for the Cowgirls. Off of their third offensive board, they're on a little 6-0 run here in the last minute. Dell in the left corner. Powell doesn't have the position that she wants. Has to kick it back out to Wheatley. Here goes Wheatley trying to do the stop step there. Here goes R.J. Wade, and R.J. driving into the paint off the right block, off the backboard and in, and R.J. has her first field goal of the ball game. She has four. UNLV ends that run by Wyoming and their scoring drought. 19-17 here at the Cox Civilian in Las Vegas, Nevada with six minutes remaining. In quarter number two, Russ gets the, the pass, quickly drives in the paint, but it was double team, and that's a retreat back out. Ten seconds on the shot clock, and a turnaround jumper by Rokovic. Goes that one to, gets that one to go down. Rokovic with her first field goal of the ball game, 21-17. Wyoming at 50% from the field. UNLV 41%. Jordan Bell trying to get a screen from Powell. Had to retreat back out. Eight seconds remaining on the shot clock. Wade trying to give a bounce pass down low to Powell. Not a good pass. I think it was kicked by Powell. Not a high pass there by RJ and a turnover for UNLV, their eighth of the ball game. Powell will head to the bench as Alyssa Anderson will check in. Wheatley leading the way with eight points for UNLV off a of four or five shooting. Gomez has 12 off a of five of six shooting. The way Gomez is shooting, I believe she might have hit 50% on the year from beyond the arc. She's been that deadly in the running for a Mount West Player of the Year with the likes of Shannon Duffesey, Jason Nunn, and Candace White as that ball almost poked away with eight seconds remaining. Bailey Thomas was a defensive stopper for UNLV. Here's Russ. Russ trying to get by Anderson. Russ driving off the backboard, no good. And it's going to be a foul on the floor. And I believe it's on R.J. Wade as she hooked Gomez. And for R.J., that is her second personal. Second team foul. R.J. was just hanging on the back there of Gomez. And Gomez took a hard fall with Nikki Wheatley on her chest. Timeout is on the court. 21-17. Wyoming on top. Shut down the I-15 near the state line. So could not make it. Hopefully he is watching, enjoying ball game so far with UNLV down by four and needing a defensive stop here. Lady Rebels shooting 41%, Wyoming at 47%, but UNLV has four more turnovers than the Cowgirls. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. Area Vets is double team. Try to give it down low. Got like three Cowgirl players in the same area on the left wing. Two seconds remaining. This is a shot attempt by Russ. Did not hit anything good. Defensive sequence out of the timeout by UNLV, and they'll try to ch trim away at this four-point deficit. UNLV needs some other offensive contribution besides Wheatley. Wheatley has eight of the 17 points. Could it be Strother? Nope, she has to kick it back out. Here goes Wheatley. Wheatley trying to get some contact high off the backboard. Comes up with the offensive board, and then a foul is called. It's on Bailey Cotton, who looks in disbelief. Can't believe she picked up the personal. That's her first first team foul. And like I said, you can't be sleeping with Nikki Wheatley. She is just so aggressive going in on those offensive rebounds. Wheatley, somebody's got to get open for her. Nobody's moving. Anderson with a dangerous pass there by Wheatley. Good catch by Anderson. But Wheatley had really no choice as Anderson fumbles it at the top of the key. And off to Jordan Bell. 20 seconds remaining on the shot clock now. Thomas. Thomas wants it. Bailey Thomas is fouled and gets the bucket. Bailey Thomas answers the call for some scoring. Other than Nikki Wheatley and Thomas, it's her first field goal of the ball game. Thomas will be at the line where she's just a 57% free throw shooter as Tapia will check in for area vets. A second personal foul on the freshman guard from Croatia. She'll head to the bench. Bailey will try to finish the three-point play. She does. 
for Thomas as we mentioned that game against San Jose State a career high nine points as Brown will be in for Wheatley Leticia Smith is in for Thomas and Justice Etheridge is in for Alyssa Anderson so UNLV will have two of their five starters on the floor Bell and Strother UNLV down by one 21-20 Wyoming has not scored in the last two minutes and 15 seconds Mentioned man-to-man -man defense here by the Lady Rebels. Brown on Tapia. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Wyoming at 45%. UNLV at 42%. The Cowgirls, five assists off a of nine makes. They're a good passing team. It was a good pass in the corner. Tapia gets it down low. Bailey Cotton, how did she get that one? What a fastball there by Tapia over to Cotton. And Cotton now has six points off a three of, six, three of five shooting. Back to a three-point lead for Wyoming. Etheridge. As the pick up her dribble, tries to give a bounce pass down low for Brown. Brown's in a lot of trouble. And is looked like Caviana Brown was in full possession of it, but they said Wyoming touched it last when Brown was driving on the right baseline. As Haley Rydalch will check in for Paris Strother. Rydalch, who did not play the last game against San Jose State, but had a nice game off the bench against Air Force. Etheridge. Freshman from Centennial, Nevada. UNLV down by three. Good passing here. Quick fire passing. Bell trying to drive. Now back out to Smith. Five seconds remaining on the shot clock. UNLV's got to recognize it. Caviano Brown, one second remaining. Right out for the sky hook. Can't get that one to go, but Letitia Smith is right there. A little too quick on the putback attempt as it just skimmed off the rim. UNLV goes empty on it off of two decent looks. Three-point deficit with two. 25 remaining here in quarter number two. Cotton over to Rokovic, who gets by Haley Rydouch, will go into the paint and draws the foul. It's going to be on Justice Etheridge. Her first personal, third team foul, and the first free throw attempts of the ball game for Wyoming. Slajana Rokovic will be at the line where she's 72% on the year. This Wyoming team at 75%, third best in the Mountain West. And Rokovic hits the first. It's important here for Wyoming to keep this lead because Marta Gomez is on the bench, and I don't believe we'll see here for the rest of this second quarter. She has two personal fouls. Second free throw goes down. Five-point lead for Wyoming. And it'll be now just shooting 38% while Wyoming's at 48%. Right, Alch. She wants to skyhook again, and not a smart play there by the BYU transfer. As the double team came, Wyoming telegraphed that hook shot. Rydalch really loves. Now with two minutes remaining, UNLV needs a stop here defensively. Bailey Cotton cutting in. They did not fire it on over to her. 15 on the shot clock. UNLV nine turnovers. Wyoming just four. Cotton gets into the paint, and Caviana Brown just steals it away. Here comes the freshman guard from New Mexico. Brown off the backboard and missed it. Fast break opportunity for UNLV goes to no avail after forcing the turnover. And that's probably a situation there for Brown. Just kind of, if you don't have it, slow down a little bit or maybe kick it back out. She had Rydalch coming in on her right-hand side. Wheatley and Powell will check in at the next whistle. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. Wyoming, they like to use a lot of that shot clock as Rokovich just blew by the UNLV defenders and lays it up, lays it in on the right block. Largest lead of the ball game for Wyoming. Up by seven, 27 20. 6 0 run. Here's Smith. Smith will get fouled. And that's going to be the third team foul on Wyoming. Rokovic picks up the personal. That's her first. Powell and Wheatley are in for Brown and Rydalch. One oh two remaining here in the second quarter. UNLV has not scored in the last two minutes and 45 seconds. This Wyoming team is really amped up defensively this year and in their winning streak. Wheatley, though, is the leading scorer for UNLV. Eight points off of four of six shooting. Lady Rebels trying to defend their home court. They've only lost once here in Mount West play. Powell is double teamed. Cotton came in. Turnover number 10 for UNLV and... This Wyoming club right now is just 
finding out what UNLV tries to do best. Gives it down low to the bigs. Catch and fire three. Wideman gets that one to go down. A 10-point lead for Wyoming on a 9-0 run. They're three of their last three, five of their last seven. We've got about a second difference between shot clock and game clock. UNLV could hold for the final shot here. Etheridge on the left wing. Etheridge will drive. Etheridge puts it up, and she is fouled. Situation, though, there. You do get the free throw attempts as Wideman picks up the personal. Her first fourth team foul. But for UNLV, Wyoming's been red hot as of late. Five of their last seven hold for the final shot. Now you've left 17.2 seconds remaining as Etheridge can't hit the first free throw. Now you definitely need to stop here defensively or your risk being down by double digits going into the third quarter. Estrada will check in. Etheridge on the year has struggled from the free throw line at 55%. Another player that hasn't had a lot of opportunities, but she switches that one to go down. Bailey Thomas will check back in. So the starters are on the court for UNLV with 17.2 seconds remaining. Lady Rebels trailing this one by nine. It was tied up at 13 going into the second quarter. But Wyoming has dominated UNLV with a single-digit output unless they can get a steal here. Five seconds remaining. Tapia trying to get it. And what a play there by Nikki Wheatley. Two seconds remaining. Wheatley at the buzzer. Can't get that one to go on the right block, but a good defensive stop there by UNLV. And they'll head to the locker room here in quarter number, at the end of quarter number two, trailing this one by nine, 30 to 21. You know, he's got to get the, really picked her up. I mean, that Wyoming game, the Cowgirls could not miss. They shot 60% from beyond the arc at 14 threes. They won 90 to 60. Wyoming, Ariavets, Russ, Gomez, Tapia, and Cotton for UNLV, Strother, Wheatley, Thomas, Powell, and Bell. Gomez will be guarded by Powell. As Tapia tries to drive against Wheatley, but Wheatley forces a retreat out. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. Russ, over to Gomez. Five seconds remaining. They try to give it down low to Cotton. Cotton, the helping defense by Bailey Thomas. I believe Bailey picked up the foul of four seconds on the shot clock. She did. And Bailey picks up foul number one. First team foul, and Cotton will be at the line to shoot a couple free throws. Cotton, 71% on the year, 13th in the Mountain West. Gets that one to go down. She now has seven. Has improved her points per game from last year to this year. It's averaging 8.2 in the 2017-18 season. Now up to a even 11 points per game. Filling the void left by Liv Roberts due to graduation. And it's largely the ball game for the Cowgirls, 32-21. UNLV will be on the road Saturday against San, San Diego State. Then back home here at the Cox Pavilion against UNR. They try to give a down low to Powell and really... The game plan for Wyoming is to hound the bigs down in the paint. UNLV's had a tough time getting it down low, a lot of double teams, and it's been effective. UNLV just shooting 35% and turned the ball over 10 times. Powell gives it down low to Strother. Strother should have had that ball. Nikki Wheatley trying to come up with it. We've got about three players fighting for the ball, and we're going to get a hell ball situation. It's going to go to UNLV. It was a good pass by Powell. Just went off of the hands of Strother. And Nikki Wheatley went fighting for it with her and Cotton. Surprised there wasn't a foul call on nobody. A lot of contact. But UNLV will retain possession. Still, trouble's getting the ball down into the post for UNLV. Bell, she's been struggling as of late. One of her last 20. Gives it up to Bailey Thomas. Three. That one was halfway down. But Thomas came up with the offensive board. Hands it off to Wheatley. And that's to kick it back out to Bell. Bell driving back out. Thomas, three from the corner. That one is short. Rebound is taken by Wyoming. I think on that situation there, Bailey Thomas, who got her own miss, just go up with that layup attempt. Caught Wyoming sleeping. Fortunate for Bailey on that first three-point shot attempt. That ball went halfway down. Now UNLV one of seven from beyond the arc. You know, he's got a switch. Cotton gives it down low. Russ, who got by Jordan Bell, and everything's going right here for Wyoming. UNLV sluggish right now. 54% from the field are the Cowgirls. 32% is UNLV. Lady Rebels trying to hold on to that fifth and final first round by spot. This could be a potential 4-5 matchup. 
And Estrada gets at the top of the key over to Wheatley. Eight seconds remaining on the shot clock. Wheatley trying to get through a couple players, puts it high off the backboard, and she <laughs> gets it back and puts it up and in. That was almost like a horse play there by Nikki Wheatley. She just threw it up high in the air and was able to get it to go down. On top 34-23 after the layup by Nikki Wheatley is true to form. A quick substitution here for head coach Kathy Olivier. She has pulled four out of the five starters. Now we're going to get a timeout by Wyoming as UNLV with the full court press is able to get the trap down in the paint. UNLV, two minutes here into the third quarter. Got Letitia Smith, Caviana Brown, Justice Etheridge, and R.J. Wade in the ballgame. Four out of the five starters for UNLV. Etheridge and R.J. Wade in the ballgame. Four out of the five starters for UNLV are on the bench. Jordan Bell's lone starter out there. While Wyoming has all five of their starters on the on the floor right now. 11-point lead for the Cowgirls. Etheridge at the duty of guarding Gomez. Five seconds remaining. Bailey Cotton drives into the paint. And Letitia Smith and Justice Etheridge both knocked the ball out. Some contact between R.J. Wade and Cotton, but no foul was called. Three seconds remaining on the shot clock. So Wyoming will have to get a catch and fire shot. They give it to Gomez. Gomez fumbled it. One second remaining. I don't believe she got it off. Doesn't matter. Shot was missed, but they do count the shot clock violation. For the second time today, UNLV has forced a turnover off of a shot clock violation. The Lady Rebels try to get with, get it within single digits here in the third quarter. A cold, wet, potential snowy night here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Smith gets a screen from R.J. Wade. Smith lost the ball momentarily. Smith puts it high off the backboard. No good. R.J. Wade with the offensive board. Puts it up and is fouled. Can't get the end one opportunity, but another offensive rebound for UNLV. The 11th offensive board as Leaf Tapia picked up the foul. That's the second personal first team foul. RJ at the line, four points off of one of three shooting and two of two from the charity stripe. That one goes in and out, no good. UNLV four of six now from the free throw line. Wyoming is four of four. Free throws have been a thorn in UNLV's side this year. It's cost them a couple wins, including some here at the Cox Pavilion, most notably Boise State a couple weeks ago where UNLV was 9 of 21. RJ goes 1 of 2, gets it back with a 10-point game. Etheridge is out. Bailey Thomas is in. This is a Wyoming team that has really stepped up their defensive presence over the last few games, including this win streak. As Bailey Cotton gets by RJ Wade and... Jordan Bell, Cotton streaking up the court, gives it to Gomez, catch and fire three. Beautiful shot by Marta Gomez, who is killing UNLV right now with 15 points off a six of seven shooting, three of four from beyond the arc, and it's back to a 13 point lead for Wyoming. And then RJ Wade thought she was going to get the, con the, the contact on the foul, took one too many steps, just called for the traveling violation. Third turnover for RJ, 11 turnovers for UNLV. How about there's Clara Tapia going quickly up the court for UNLV. They wanted to press, and Wyoming is making them pay. Quick passes, 15-point lead for the Lady Rebels, and now here comes Wheatley, Powell, and Anderson, and it looks like Etheridge and Strahler, so platoon swap here. Smith, out backdoor cut by Bailey Thomas, and Bailey trying to fire a bounce pass on over to Jordan Bell, turnover. It's a situation, I believe, for Bailey. You're driving, go up for the layup attempt. Like the extra pass, but, you know, for UNLV right now, they just need buckets. As Powell, Anderson, Strother, Wheatley, and Etheridge are in. Largest lead of the ballgame for Wyoming, 39-24. The last layup was by Ariovitz. who had her first field goal of ballgame, now 1-5 of five from the field with two points. But in this winning streak for Wyoming, they've held opponents to 60 points or fewer. Well, he's gotten 61 or more. It's been pretty impressive for the Cowgirls, who are looking like a con top contending team here in Mountain West. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. Gomez on the left wing. Gomez fires a cross-court pass over to Area Vets trying to drive on F edge. Area Vets puts it up, gets the friendly roll. Kind of deja vu what we saw up in Laramie, Wyoming. Wyoming is just getting every shot to go down, and it's starting to go bad to worse here for the Lady Rebels. 41-24. Somebody's got to wake up for UNLV and make a big shot here. Etheridge has to pick up her dribble, hands it off to Wheatley. 
Wheatley back over to Etheridge. Long two for Justice. That one is just too strong, and Paris Strother is going to get called for the offensive or the foul on the rebound. And Strother talking with the official, saying that she is she was hooked by Gomez. Second personal on Paris. Second team foul. You see her on the instant replay. And Gomez and Strother getting entangled up, and Strother is able to knock Gomez down. It's called for the foul. 7-0 run by Wyoming, 41-24. Three of the last three from the field are the Cowgirls. Gomez, she's feeling it, and she drains it. In front of Katie Powell, Marta Gomez having herself a game. 18 points. 7 of 8 shooting, 4 of 5 from beyond the arc in just 17 minutes of action. It is a 20-point lead for Wyoming. In a blink of an eye, it has just gone from bad to worse. Powell has two points. Katie with just a shot. I don't know why she took. I know she's trying to get the game back into reach for UNLV, trying to do her best, but that's just a low-percentage shot going back down on the wing. A three-point attempt is no good. Here comes Wheatley. Wheatley over to Anderson. Anderson trying to give it down low to Powell. Now Anderson will drive. She fires it into the hands of Area Vets. This is probably the worst sequence for UNLV I've seen all year long. And Strother's going to get pick up the foul on the left block on Russ. Third personal on Paris with 427 remaining. Third on Paris, third team foul. UNLV has not scored in the last two minutes and 43 seconds. 10-0 run here for Wyoming. Four of their last five as Russ true to form on that one. 68% free throw shooter. Smith and R.J. Wade are in for Strother and Etheridge. Rokovic will check back in for Wyoming. You know, be also be scoreboard watching. They need Utah State to continue to fall. They also need San Diego State to continue to fall. San Diego State right now trailing by... Seven as the second free throw attempt is no good. Powell gets that one. Largest lead of the ball game for the Cowgirls. It they are leading this one 45-24. They're on a 11-0 run. Wheatley over to Wade. Wade driving in the paint. RJ Wade can't get that one to go. Wheatley trying to get the offensive board. And a foul is going to be called by Wheatley as she went over the back of Rokovich. First personal on Nikki Wheatley. Fourth team foul as Russ will head on out. This is a third quarter to forget for UNLV. It was 30-21. 15-4 run as that shot is rejected by Alyssa Anderson. Good play there by Alyssa on the block shot attempt by Tapia. As Powell catch and fire three for Katie. That one goes. Good shot there by Powell. She's now 2 of 6 on the day. Five points. 45-27. I think for UNLV, if they don't want to get back in this ball game, they've got to get the three-point shot to go down. UNLV just 31% from the field. Wyoming 55%. Gomez has been a big contributor. 18 points off a of 7 of 8 shooting. Pass down low to Gomez. She's guarded man-to-man -man by R.J. Wade. Ten seconds remaining. Gomez, pull-up jumper. That one is no good. Powell with a great defensive rebound. Four rebounds now for Powell. UNLV try to chip away yet again. Wheatley over to Smith. Smith driving on the left side. Baseline lays it up and in. Beautiful pass and a beautiful finish by Letitia Smith, who now has five points off a of two of four shooting. 45-29. UNLV trying to wake this crowd up here after Wyoming. Blitz them to start this third quarter. Tapia, man-to-man -man defense by Wheatley. Here's Gomez. Gomez against Wade. Gomez gets that one to go down. Wow. That was good defense by R.J. Wade, but Gomez is just feeling it today. Ends a little run by UNLV. Gomez now with 20 points, her seventh game, where she has 20 or more points. You know, V trying to get it inside, but just haven't had success today. Anderson over to Smith. Here's Letitia Smith. Spin move. T.T. Smith does not get the foul. Missed everything on the shot, or missed the rim on the shot attempt. Rebound taken. F crowd wanted a foul call. Did not get it. 18-point lead for the Cowgirls. 20 seconds on the shot clock. 
Wyoming. Probably one of the hottest teams in the Mountain West as area vets could have been called for a travel. Did not get it. Ten seconds remaining. Tapia trying to get by. Wheatley kicks it back out. Three right wing. Nothing but net. Area vets picks up the three-point shot. Her first three-point make of the ball game. Seven points overall. 50-29. Wyoming on top here with a minute 35 in the third quarter. Smith with a moving screen from Powell. And we're going to get a foul call. And it's going to be on Rokovic, who's holding her head. Says she got hit by Powell. She's holding her kind of bent over. That's the second team foul as Cotton and Russ will check back in. And maybe we're going to get a visit to the uh, monitor here. 20. Powell trying to get some work here on the left block, and it's called for the offensive foul. Katie, the only thing she can do is just smile and laugh and get up because it's been a frustrating game for both for UNLV. Cotton was able to draw the charge, took a hard fall. And for Powell, that is her first personal. Third team foul. Wyoming is in the bonus after the last foul by Powell. Five team fouls for UNLV, just two for Wyoming. 50 to 29. Marta Gomez, 20 of the 50 points for Wyoming off of 8 of 10 shooting. She has been dominant so far. She gets it into the paint. She's fouled on the reverse layup attempt. That's a beautiful find, beautiful pass, and a beautiful finish for Marta Gomez after the find by area of it. It's kind of the no-look pass. That is the 13th assist for Wyoming off the 20th make and the 7-0 run for the Cowgirls. And you don't see this very often in Mountain West play. UNLV outscored this much and dominated this much. Under a minute to go, 53-29. Gomez now with 23 off of 9 of 11 points, 9 of 11 shooting. Probably be the last we see of her in this ball game. As Letitia Smith tried to give a bounce pass down low. It was kicked, but no kickball violation. Wheatley came up with it, and I believe Wheatley is fouled. She is by Whiteman. No, it looked like Smith just bounced it before. It just had no mustard on that pass, and she just threw a duck right in front of her. So that's why the kickball was not called. 13 foul for Wyoming. UNLV trying to avoid a second straight quarter where they've only had single-digit points. Smith with an awkward-looking shot. Missed everything on that. Two of six now for Letitia Smith. 53-29. Six-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Bailey Thomas poked it away momentarily against Russ. But Russ is able to spin away. She dribbles into the paint. Now has to kick it back out to area vets with 10 seconds on the shot clock. Wyoming three of their last three. Good defense here by Smith, but area vets gets fired, but missed everything. Couldn't finish. Powell goes up. Gives the pass up to Wheatley. Four seconds remaining. Thomas three. That one is just too strong. Rebound taken by Wyoming. And for the second straight quarter, UNLV is only able to put up single digits, eight points. A frustrating quarter for UNLV. UNLV just 31%. Seven of 11 is... Wyoming from beyond the arc as UNLV tries a double team. One extra pass. Marta Gomez has led the way with 23 points off of 9 of 11 shooting. Nikki Wheatley's leading score for UNLV. 10 points off of 5 of 9 shooting. Good job by Powell. Of 11 shooting. Nikki Wheatley's leading score for UNLV. 10 points off of 5 of 9 shooting. Good job by Powell. To deny the pass down into the paint on Vitalova. 17 seconds remaining. Gomez catching fire. Shot was short on that. She got a good look off the inbound. Smith will bring it up for UNLV. Tisha Smith will hand off to Wheatley. Wheatley driving into the paint, back out to Thomas. 15 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Here comes Wheatley. Wheatley will drive into the paint. Floater no good. Rebound is going to be taken momentarily by Jordan Bell, but Area Vets is able to take it out. Wheatley now 5 of 10. 29 points for UNLV. Their lowest scoring output since this game is 
Gomez gets it with 10 seconds remaining. Vernon Bell try to stop her. Fires it on over. Corner three. That one is an ugly looking shot there by Vitilova. Airballed it. Here comes Smith. And Wheatley will retreat back out. Last time UNLV scored under 50 points was against Colorado State. They lost that game 52-49 on a last second three. And Jordan Bell, turnaround jumper. No good, but Nikki Wheatley comes up with the offensive board, puts it back up and in. 12 points for the senior guard off of 6 of 11 shooting. 31 points for UNLV, 53 for Wyoming. The Rebels who have really picked up their defense in Mount West play. Besides the game against Wyoming, they've done a very good job. This is just very uncharacteristic, and you don't see Bailey Thomas get beat after Chris Weideman gave her a double move. Weideman now has five points off a two of four shooting, 55-31. Anderson and Etheridge will check in at the next whistle. Looks like a high 1-3-1 one, one zone as a three-point shot attempt is no good by Letitia Smith, 55-31. Smith now two of eight shooting, one of two from beyond the arc. You know, if he will be on the road against San Diego State, and that'll be a big game because San Diego State, they've been racking off wins in a row if they can come back against the Wolfpack as area vets threw it to no one. Into the stands, out of play. Turnover number nine for Wyoming. Strother is in, along with Anderson, Wheatley, Bell, and Bailey Thomas will be out. Justice Etheridge also checks in. Vito Lovo will check on out. 55-31. Wyoming will be at home against Colorado State and a big one against Fresno State. That will determine, but that probably will determine who will be the three or four seed here in the Mountain West as Melissa Anderson, bounce pass down low for Powell. You know, he just can't get it down low to their bigs. Wyoming is really taking that away. It kind of reminds me of the game against UNR. UNLV had up in Reno. The Wolfpack just knew that UNLV was a real heavy post post offense team and just couldn't deny every pass. A straw there is able to get the inbound after fumbling it. Smith, jumper. That one is no good. Rebound poked in the air. It will go to Strother. Who avoids the diving Tapia. Fresh shot clock for UNLV. 14th offensive board for the Lady Rebels. They're winning the rebounding battle. 28-21. Strother down in the paint. Paris Strother gets that one to go down. Her first field goal of the ball game. Paris now one of three from the field. 55-33. Strother in just 17 minutes of action has those three personal fouls. As Cotton with the head fake, trying to drive into the paint, and an offensive foul is called. Strother slowly getting up, but takes the charge on Cotton. You know, he does that so well. Everybody on the court seems to find the perfect spot. As Bailey Cotton, as you see, she's got a couple little bits of tissue in her nose. I believe she got popped in the, or don't believe, I put, we could say that she got popped in the nose, caused some bleeding, that's why she had to go out. 22-point lead for Wyoming. Smith trying to get it in the paint. Off the backboard, no good. Strother with the offensive board. And the ball poked up by in the air, and Bailey Cotton just looks at the rep like, I can't believe that call. Third personal on Cotton, and Strother will head to the line to shoot a couple free throws. Our Paris on the year is at 62%. Second team foul for Wyoming. Strother gets that one to go down. Paris has seen her numbers go down. Last year averaged about nine points per game and shot over 50% right now at about 5.9 points per game, 46%. But doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. I think Paris deserves a little bit more finds down in the paint. When you're shooting at 46%, try to give it to her. But the problem is, can Paris stay on the court? She's had some moments where she's done a good job this year and some moments where she's put herself into foul trouble. But she hit both, 20-point lead. That three is no good by Gomez. Good looking shot. Gomez misses her second three pointer of the ball game. Four of six now. Powell with the head fake over to Anderson. Etheridge over to Smith. Smith has to pick up her dribble, gives it to Anderson. Anderson going from left to right. 
Anderson trying to get something going off the backboard and in. Alyssa Anderson with her first field goal of the ball game. Senior from Rancho Cucamonga, California. Came up big against San Jose State with five of six from the charity stripe and hit two big free throws toward the end of the ball game that really put the game away when San Jose State was coming back on UNLV. It's a 6 0 run for the Lady Rebels. They get a 6 3 run. Taylor Russ with the three. 34% on the year from beyond the arc, 10th best in the Mountain West, and Russ is now 2 of 2 from beyond the arc. Nine points off of three of five shooting as well. 58-37. Smith driving. That one can't go. Letitia Smith has had some shots that just have just skimmed off the rim. She is now 2 of 11. Uncharacteristic for Smith who came in shooting 50% from the field. Under five to go here at the Cox Pavilion in Las Vegas, Nevada. This game has flown by. Taylor Russ misses the shot but comes up with the offensive board. That sums up the night for UNLV. That probably sums it up. Marta Gomez, three, but can't get that one to go down. Gomez has missed two straight threes. That one, very uncharacteristic of her because she was wide open. Powell will hand off to Anderson. Justice Etheridge has one point. One of two from the charity stripe to turn over UNLV. And Katie Powell's got to hurry back on overs. Stop. Now UNLV on a five-on-five -five defense. I know Powell's frustrated, but got to continue fighting. Good thing is, come Mount West tournament time, you never know who has a chance to win it. Last year, UNR, who was below 500, was able to come within a a layup attempt, or a layup make by Boise State of winning it. Boise State won on a buzzer beater. Here comes Alyssa Anderson. Anderson trying to go coast to coast, and Anderson. You can tell the frustration there by Anderson. This is an uncharacteristic game for UNLV, but Alyssa Anderson hits her second field goal of the game. She has four points off a two of two shooting. Timeout is on the court, and we will take one as well. Wyoming in control, 58-39 here on the Mount West Network on Stadium. Wyoming shooting 50% on the day from the field. Alyssa Anderson will be at the line to sh shoot a free throw, try to finish off a and one opportunity. Get you some updates Fre at Fresno State, 77-70 with 17 seconds remaining in that ball game. Etheridge will get it with 3.30 remaining. Nikki Wheatley has been the bright spot for UNLV, 6 of 11 shooting 12 points. Etheridge has to pick up her dribble. Nice backdoor cut by Wheatley, but short on the layup attempt. She gets her own miss and puts it back up and in. She was fighting R.J. Wade for the offensive board, and Wheatley gets that one to go down. UNLV today, there's another miss on a layup. How about this for Lady Rebels? And probably where you could point to the frustration and the struggles today. They're 10 of 24 on layup attempts today. Cotton driving in on the right block. Bullies her way through as she put her shoulder into R.J. Wade. Cotton has 10 points off a of 4 of 8 shooting, 60-41. Etheridge, step back three. That one is good. Justice Etheridge with her first three-point make of the ball game, 60-44. 2.25 remaining here in quarter number four. Etheridge now has four points. National, the Nevada Gay Ray Player of the Year from Centennial High School. Nationally ranked, and we're going to get a foul in the paint, and it's on R.J. Wade. Third personal on R.J. First team foul. Tapia will have it at the top of the key. Wyoming today, 15 assists off of 23 makes. UNLV, 6 assists off of 17 makes. This is Wyoming team. Assists per game, 16. That's second best in the Mountain West as Cotton will be fouled on the layup attempt. Strother picks up the personal. Fourth on, Paris with 204 remaining. As Paris got her hand in there on Cotton, and Cotton will be at the line to shoot a couple free throws. We'll have some uh, war scars today. She's been be beaten up a little bit. Has Cotton. 
Gets that one to go down. Caviano Brown will be in for Alyssa Anderson. Anderson finishes with four points off a of two of two shooting. Second free throw goes down. Wyoming. Seven of eight from the charity stripe today. I believe the Step Rock has done an update. Yeah, there we go. Eight of nine. UNLV seven of ten. This game really hasn't been decided at the free throw line. UNLV has bumped up their average right now at 35%. Under two minutes to go. Wheatley over to Strother. Strother with the head fake. Tries to do a spin move. We'll kick it back out to Wheatley. Wheatley will now kick it back out. Strother, she's not a bad three-point shooter and gets that one to go down. Strother now on the year three of seven. She's about over 30% in her career as a Lady Rebel, 62-47. As UNLV hits their fourth three-pointer of the ball game, I'd like to see Paris get a little bit more, you know, obviously some more shot attempts down in the paint, but also maybe one or two threes a game. You shoot about 30%. I think you can vouch for that as Area Vets driving in on the right block. It's the feed by Wheatley. 64-47. Three of their last three is UNLV from the field. Wyoming now at 52%. Strada trying to give it to R.J. Wade. Wade did not have the position, so Strada has to kick it back out. Etheridge, back over to Wheatley, under a minute to go. RJ, over to Strother. Five seconds remaining. Wade, and we're going to get a blocking foul. Tapia puts her hands up, but she what, didn't have her feet set and was really moving back. I think she tried to sell the call as Weideman will be in the ball game. Sixty-four forty-seven. As head coach Chulagurski talking to Tapia, is telling her, "Don't say anything to an official." Obviously, with a game in reach, you don't want to get picked up for a silly technical. As Wheatley's shot attempt is no good. Last touch by Wyoming with forty-four seconds remaining. Sixty-four forty-seven. Tapia just gets a quick uh, chewing from the coach. A little polite chewing. Comes back in, but for UNLV, the struggle today's. You know, Wheatley had it from the field, but other people need to step up. Powell didn't have the shooting performance that she wanted, and Jordan Bell has just been non-existent for UNLV in the last few games. Strother, over to Caviana Brown. Brown down low to Wade. Wade, spin move, layup attempt is Mips. RJ gets her home board, and she has to pack with Nikki Wheatley, and RJ Wade now has seven points off of two of six shooting. RJ unable to duplicate that 20-point performance off the bench, but still seven points, three offensive rebounds, something that you could be proud about if you're head coach Kathy Olivier, as this will probably be the end of the ball game here. Second difference between shot clock and game clock, 64-49. On Wyoming, they'll improve to 17-5 and on the year, 10-3. and They win eight in a row, and that's the best win streak they've ever had in the Mountain West. As a shot clock violation, 1.2 seconds remaining. UNLV will fall to 9 and 16 on the year. 7 and 7 in conference play. With 1.2 seconds remaining. Don't know if UNLV will try to get a shot off. Wheatley will. High up in the air. That one is no good. And that will end it here at the Cox Civilian. A frustrating performance for UNLV. It was tied up at 13.